everyone hope you all are having an amazing day to make your day even more interesting we at intellipad have brought an interesting video on how to become a data architect so before we move on with our live session please subscribe to our channel and also if you want upcoming updates please hit the bell icon and also leave a like if you enjoy our content let's go over the agenda for today first we will learn who a data architect is then we'll discuss why it is a good idea to pursue a career as a data architect after that we will learn how to become a data architect and the requirements for the profession next we will learn what data architects do and what their roles and responsibilities are finally we will discuss how you can begin learning and get started so let's begin and see who a data architect is data architects are the brains behind data architecture they translate business requirements from all units into data requirements data architects are required to have a good knowledge of cloud computing and databases and the programs used to use data to their maximum potential data architects study business needs and requirements and then create technology roadmaps to fulfill those needs and meet the requirements they design blueprints for the flow of data and to make sure that data is accessible to people who need it now Let's see why being a data architect is a good career option. To make use of the data efficiently throughout departments, companies need data architects, but there aren't as many professionals with the required experience and skills these days. This makes it a very high paying job. The demand for data architects is very high, and the high salaries along with the opportunity for rapid growth makes the profession very respectful and prestigious. Let's discuss the job opportunities available, the salaries offered and the companies who are hiring. Searches on employment websites like indeed.com and nokri.com showed that jobs are available for data architects in a variety of industries, from finance to healthcare, from technology to consulting. As per the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, database administrators and data architects will see a rise in jobs between the years 2019 to 2029 by about 10% much faster than the common average for all occupations in the united states this expected increase is due to the increasing need to design efficient databases and more and more companies realizing the true potential of data if it is used smartly coming to the salaries according to payskill.com the average salary for a data architect in usa is $121,000 per year talking about india according to the data presented on glassdoor.com the average salary of data architects in india is 19 lakhs and 62000 rupees per year showing how rewarding the profession is and how much in demand data architects are these days senior data architects can make around 25 lakh rupees per year tech giants like ibm oracle infosys tcs and amazon hire experienced data analysts for very high salaries now we we'll learn how to become a data architect to understand that we'll first look at some job descriptions present on indeed.com to see what employers are looking for when hiring data architects in this job description posted by aws we can see that there is an emphasis on a bachelor's degree five years of experience at least a knowledge of no sql databases RDBMS and SQL, a knowledge of MongoDB and programming languages like Java and Python. Coming to the no next job description by Bosch, there is an emphasis on a bachelor's degree in technology or engineering or a master's degree in computer applications. A knowledge of data modeling and RDBMS is also required. In this job description posted by IBM, there is an emphasis on a knowledge of Java and C++, SQL Linux and Hadoop. In this final job description that we will see, they emphasize on five years of experience as a minimum, a knowledge of SQL, Python, data modeling, database design, and Hadoop. Based on these job descriptions that we study, we can draw some conclusions about the education, skills, and work experience required to become a data architect. A degree in computer engineering, information technology, computer science or any field related to this is usually the minimum requirement most companies have to apply for a job as a data architect. Most of these programs include courses about data management, database systems, programming, etc., which are needed to become a good data architect. 
these programs also instill problem solving skills there is no specific course or mandatory certification needed to become a data architect but doing some courses might help you learn more and enhance your skills these courses provide you everything you need to learn and combine it together to make the learning process easier for you coming to skills data architects need to have a vast variety programming skills like c c++ python java and perl are needed technical skills like database management sql oracle natural language processing and machine learning are also very important data modeling is used to manipulate data in databases you will also need a good knowledge of mathematics and statistics analytical skills are very important to solve business problems and provide profit building solutions designing a database is one of the most required skills to become a data architect a well designed database gives you accurate and up to date information most companies want applicants to have more than 5 years of experience in database management data modeling and database design while pursuing your degree getting a part time job or an internship in the it field will make it easier for you to later get an I, will make it easier for you to later get an entry level job in the industry after completing your education you can start working and get a job in programming or database management this will help you get relevant experience needed for becoming a data architect when you have the education the skills and the experience that is needed to become a data architect the next step is building a strong resume mention skills like data modeling database management system and programming skills along with along with these technical skills analytical and problem solving skills like interpersonal skills and leadership are also very important mention all your work experience in the it industry and briefly describe each role Mentioning all relevant projects is also important to showcase your skills. Give your accurate email address and phone number for employers to contact you in case your resume is shortlisted. Now that we know how to become a data architect, we will learn about the responsibilities and roles of one. To do this, we will once again look at some job descriptions. In this job description posted by IBM, as you can see, there is an emphasis on responsibilities like data governance, data integration. implementing strategies and shaping data programs coming to this job description by bosch they have emphasized roles and responsibilities like unit testing data modeling preparing documents for all departments creating database objects and complex queries and performing requirement analysis in this other description by ibm they emphasize responsibilities like agile squad activities document processes and designing and implementing cloud solutions in this last job description by aws we can see that there is an emphasis on responsibilities like designing and building customers nosql implementations evaluating and planning migrations to amazon dynamodb and delivering technical engagements with partners and customers based on these jobs based on these job descriptions that we have just studied we can conclude that data architects have a lot of responsibilities including helping make the company database secure reliable and scalable and maintain its integrity and performance giving technical specifications up to translating business requirements maintaining the data flow within the organization collaborating with all different departments partners and stakeholders preparing detailed reports for the management of the organization and all the departments coming up with data strategies for the company and addressing the requirements of the industry ensuring that data is accurate and available and accessible to those who need it and support the goals of the organization final thoughts making a career as a data architect is no piece of cake but making sure that you have the right qualifications and certifications can give you the right start now you know all that there is to know about how to become a data architect and have all the information that you need if you want to make a career in data science then intellipat has iit madras advanced data science and ai certification program this course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by iit professors and industry experts so guys we have come to the end of our session i hope you all enjoyed it for any questions that you have related to coding you can mention it in the comment sections below So thank you so much for attending this session and meet you in another session.